Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brett, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green beauty, and I'm back with another product review today. I'm very military chic, I don't know why. I'm gonna talk to you about the Alima Pure Bronzer. A lot of you have recommended that I try this out, and I finally tried it out in color Trinidad. If you wanna know what I think about this bronzer, then stick around and let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Y'all know I love me a bronzer. A loose powder bronzer. I'm gonna give you the brief rundown. It's $24 and available in three shades. It is a buildable loose mineral bronzer with a lightweight, natural looking finish. It is not tested on animals, formulated without a ton of bad stuff, and is also vegan. And I got this in the Trinidad color, which is the darkest shade available. If I'm gonna wear a bronzer, I wanna know that I'm wearing a bronzer. Very end of sentence stuff. So now I'm gonna talk to you about how clean this product is. Do you have a rule of three? Check out the details below on that. I bought this at Safe and Chic, which is one of my favorite e-commerce sites right now. No one's paying me to say this, by the way. They do have a promo code available, so check the description below for that. I just want you to know because some of that stuff can be expensive. However, 24 bucks, starting off pretty strong in the price point department. Back to the whole cleanliness part. This sucker has five ingredients that I can see on there. Five, 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 five. Other brands, please take note. Lima Pure is also a fascinating brand. I won't dive too far into it. They do so many good things, environmentally friendly, They're doing so many fantastic things, and they're coming out with products that I really like. I did just review an eyeshadow and it had a no-no in it, but I have tried other products from them and I really like it, so some are on, some are off. Always ask what's inside. If you're following me on this channel, then you already know that. Five ingredients are below a three, and there's one at a three. It's a one to three, it's titanium dioxide. And I'm not scared of that. I know some people really don't like to use that. To me, it's okay. It passes that test with flying colors. Speaking of colors, the color payoff, which is so important. A very little amount of this goes a very long way, which I like for budget reasons, because then you don't use a ton of it all over the place. But the color payoff with the Trinidad color, oof. It's good. It's really very natural. It says it is. It gives you a color description for each shade that's available. It's not metallic, so if you're looking for something that's more metallic, I'll give you another option towards the end of the video. But this isn't metallic. This is more natural in feel. It's buildable in my experience, and it goes on really nicely, but you have to be just less is more. Pat the brush, do it on your hand a little bit, and slowly just go into the spots that you want it to look sun-kissed. This lasted throughout the day without fail. I had no problems there. It didn't slide, didn't get ruddy, it didn't apply oddly with other products on my face. It played well with everybody. The sandbox of my face. I don't Whatever. This is more of, for me, this was more of a little bit warmer of a tone than cooler, but it is still pretty middle of the road, which I like. Like when they're not too cool and they're not too warm. Then the pigment here really paid off and it's not metallic, so it's checking all the right boxes for things that I look for in a bronzer. If you are looking for something really warm and slightly metallic or it has a nice little sheen to it, I think the Hint Beauty bronzer, it's not super duper warm. It skews warm, I would say. It's a really good option for you. If you want something cooler, then I would say the Well People Bio Bronzer bronzer is a really solid option. Really great price point. There you have I mean, it. That's, that's actually kind of it. It's the quickest, easiest, happiest little review I've ever had. The final verdict here is would I recommend it to a friend? Heck yeah. I would recommend it to you. I would recommend it to a friend. I would recommend family members, anybody. I will tell them about the Alima Pure bronzer. If they're into loose powders, loose bronzers, and they like that, some people don't. Some people want the bronzer stick. Some people want the pressed powder bronzers. I get it. Everybody has their shtick, but I love a loose bronzer and I will absolutely recommend this. It is 100% style shaker proof. Very happy with the Alima Pure bronzer and five ingredients. Come on. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. To my style shaker squad, y'all. I'm so happy to have you here and I can't wait until we get to hang out again real soon. Until then, bye.